Saludos familia de esa fanática del baloncesto en Puerto Rico, Chora, estamos aquí desde La Perla, ando con mi gente de Sport Talk PR, el de PR, me, toco, me encuentro aquí con Devonte, Free Advante. After winning 24K in the East Coast, you came down to Puerto Rico. How do it feels being here in La Perla, San Juan, Puerto Rico? I'm a big family guy, you know, and uh, it just felt like one big family came out here. Positive vibes. They told me to be careful out here, and I'm like, for what? Everybody was all dope out here. We appreciate you, though, man. I appreciate everybody. And uh, it's just amazing, man. It's a dream come true. Everyone talked about it's a dream come true for me to come here and play basketball, but it's a dream come true to actually get a crowd here and, and hoop, you know? A lot of kids here in Puerto Rico uh, right now watching you playing with their parents here. What means for you that a lot of kids came in here to see you playing right now? Man, I just want to be a positive impact for the children because, um, like, growing up, I saw, for sure, saw some things, and I know some people that have gone through things that you shouldn't have to go through. I mean, they make or break you, but to all the kids watching out there, man, find something that gives you some passion, sets you on fire, makes you happy, pushes you. Um, that's what will drive you to get to that next level. You can make it out wherever you're at. You know, you can make it out if you really believe that. Awesome. Um, nice words there. My man, I have another question for you, too. Yeah, yeah D. Frigo, um, you played a lot of places, man. A lot of places. Yeah. You travel a lot. Talk about the energy where you've gone and the energy tonight here in San Juan with the fans and everything. I'm very transparent. I'm real. Energy in Milwaukee was insane. Uh, energy in San Antonio was insane. The energy in the last game was good here. The first two games is a little rocky. It's quiet, way quieter than I thought it was going to be. Um, but it's also a good thing because I think I also believe like when it's quiet, people really just want to watch mm -hmm. and they just want to enjoy. So there's nothing, no hate towards the noise level. But when we're talking about hype, sometimes when we go into the hood, you know, it just gets crazy. And uh, tonight was just kind of a good moment. You going to Ponce tomorrow yeah. to play them again? Yeah. How ready are you for what you've seen tonight? Versus them, you, you think you could pick it up tomorrow again? Or how, yeah. how you feel for tomorrow? I need to rest and drink, and I'm going to come back out and shoot a little bit better. Um, maybe a little bit of traveling screwed me up, but mm -hmm. I think now that I'm settled in, we got a feel for it, got a vibe of the crowd. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you get nervous. Like, if you yeah. think we're not nervous doing this stuff, you're crazy. So, um, so you guys feel I'm ready. Kind of got, yeah, you know, kind of yeah. shook it off. Yeah. Tomorrow, shh, keep it on the down low. <laughs> I'm wearing spring-loaded shoes tomorrow. <laughs> So you're gonna be head top tomorrow, bro. Hey, yeah. thank you for coming over here. Hey, you got any any other tournaments on the on the rise looking up? Yeah, hey, Balls Life West Coast, uh, Dev in the lab. Dev, we're looking for y'all, man. We're we're getting ready. We're preparing. Ooh. And next time we come out here, full Friga fan will be out here. Ooh, next time like we that. get out here, I like that. Yeah, thank we're you guys. Killing true buckets, killing. Hey. Mataron a la real canasta, dicen. Pero familia, gracias por el apoyo. Devonte Friga here. Sports Talk PR y los de PR, seguimos activos, mi gente. Thank you, baby. Yeah. Awesome.